Okay, nuclear bomb earthquake weapon is the name of this video and I'd like to prove that uh, nuclear bombs can create earthquakes and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's been weaponized to use secretly. Anyways, test number, the first test we got is test number 1000 Tanoka, it was August 13th, 1987. Time was 1400 hours in a shaft, weapon related, here's the earthquake it caused. 5.9 Nevada, you can see that in the USGS site. I'll go to the Adobe file right here. And uh, it's test number 1000, so all we gotta do is go up a little bit here. All these tests are on the same page. So there it is right there, 1400 hours. There's the location. There's the, it's in a shaft, weapons related. So we go up one more page. And we can see that that's, test number 1000 is right here. Tanoka, August 13th, yeah. August 13th, 1987. So that's the first one. And we'll go back to our Google file right here. Click on the bottom. And the next one is uh, test number 1002, Borate. Time October 13th. No, sorry, October 23rd, 1987. 1400 hours UTC in the shaft. Weapons were laid. We'll click on the earthquake. 5.2 Nevada. We we'll click on that earthquake right there. And it shows October 23rd, 1987. That's the uh, USGS site's info for that thing. 1600 hours is the earthquake's time. And we go to the Adobe file again. So that's number 1002. There it is, Borate. 23rd of October 1987, we go down one page and it says it's weapons related. Anyways, we'll figure that one out down here. It shows where it's weapons related. Number 1002, there it is. 1600 hours, 37 uh, is there's your uh, location in a shaft, weapons related. We've done hundreds of these tests and all these tests have created earthquakes. Every single one of them. I've got ones that happened after the fact. So if anybody wants to try and refute this, good luck with that, because I got thousand dollars on the table says you can't do it. Anyways, test number 1016 is Dalhart, time 1400 hours, October 13th, 1988, in a, in a, in a shaft, weapons related. I'll just click on the USGCS site for that, five, caused a 5.9 earthquake, October 13th, 1988. There you go. So here we go, we go to the uh, Adobe file that I got that, uh, downloaded for that. And it's number of test is number 1000. 16 Dalhart, right there is October 13th, 1988. Dalhart, go down one more. Uh, 1016 here. There it is, 1400 hours. 13, 13 is location right there. And the shaft weapons related. Now, all these tests are between 20 and 120 to 200 kilotons, but they, I mean, they've admitted to a couple of these uh, tests. One test they've admitted is called faultless, that it actually was as a a veliform test, which is to test the difference between uh, seismic uh, vibration of a nuclear bomb and an actual earthquake, right? So these tests were set up to do that. So they admitted that one actually caused an earthquake. When they realized in 1969 that that caused an earthquake, they started refining their, their uh, techniques so they could actually get it so they wouldn't be able to test that it was a nuclear bomb. They wanted to make it just like an earthquake. So the veliform tests were all about. and. Uh, you can refute that if you want to, but you have to good luck with that too. So, um, what I'm saying is, Japan, you were nuked. Guaranteed, it was like simultaneous in a shaft, nukes let off, and it caused that massive earthquake. It's irrefutable. Japan, I can't prove the Japanese one, because obviously I don't have the data in front of me, and I won't be able to get the data in front of me, because there will be no data for that. It's secretive. Same with the one in the Indian Ocean. Why do you think we've had so many big tsunamis, like huge tsunamis? These things are money makers, big time. Thanks. Lee, over and out. Peace.